What's up YouTube? All right, so today I'm trying to put in a tankless water heater. Kind of gonna show you how I'm doing it and just show you what I'm learning along the way. Earlier today, I had an electrician come and he installed a sub panel for me. And what he did was, uh, there's only one breaker in this one right now. And that's actually the water heater that runs through the wall and comes out, hang on a comes out right there. So that's somewhere in the wall. And he just put an extension over from the main panel into the sub panel. So I'm gonna use that existing wire in there. As you can see, I've got this like box cut out cause that's where I'm gonna make the, mount the tankless water heater. But I'm gonna make like a plate to go up there out of half inch plywood. The water heater is gonna mount on and I'm gonna run those existing wires through that next stud and then come out on the other side into a little outlet for a sound system going up in this wall or in this corner. And down where the water heater is right now, I'm gonna put uh, my air compressor there. So I'm gonna use the existing wiring to run the power for those things. And I have uh, this breaker right here that's empty it's just filling up the the slots right now so there's not open open slots on the uh on the panel and then i have two other ones right here ready for the breakers so i'm just trying to get all the supplies and i got to run all the wires from there through this box and then i'm going to run them across the wall here and then up to the water heater so i'm going to get started on this i guess i'll i'll try my best to keep you guys updated with videos um, or status updates. Um, it's it's about six o'clock in the afternoon here and it's raining so I actually need to run back to Home Depot but I don't know if I'm gonna do that tonight I'm just getting started uh, and gonna do a few things so yeah I'll just give you guys updates along the way. Okay, so it's already been about five minutes. I've already ran into my first problem. It's not a big deal but so right here um, I didn't think about this wall. My garage isn't insulated, obviously. It's block on the outside, but this house uh, leads to the interior of the house. So it's framed on both sides and has uh, plywood on both sides uh, underneath the drywall. So there's plywood behind this, um, which is fine. Uh, I still need to um, get this drywall off and then I can just cut out some of this plywood uh, to get to the stud so that I can just run this wire through that stud and then it'll it'll come out over here still. So um, just a little roadblock, but it's part of it. Okay, so uh, problem number two that I found is one, I mean, everybody who knows that if you're gonna work on electrical, you're supposed to shut the power off. Well, I knew that and I wasn't even gonna work with electrical, but I messed up and now, instead of putting one outlet in, I'm putting two. Because as I was trying to, f I, d I don't have, I think it's called a multi-tool, maybe. Um, anyway, the saw that, that kind of like vibrates to cut through. Um, well, that's what I needed. I didn't have one. So I was trying to do it without it and drill a bunch of little holes. Well, as I'm trying to figure out what's behind there, what I'm getting into, just trying to get in there. Of course, the drill bit hit the wire. Just don't tell my wife. Um, so yeah, I'm just uh, causing myself a lot more work, and now this is what I have going on. So, I have this bigger hole than I wanted to, um, because there's insulation one, but when I was trying to find the where the wire goes, of course the drill bit hit it. Shorted it out. I'm clearing out this little hole because I'm gonna put the the box that I already have in there. I'm gonna have to put some uh, some pigtails on there uh, or some wire nuts and pretty much make a, a splice right here to then later on run over there. So Joy's already taken a shower today, which is good, but I haven't. So hopefully the hot water is on later when I'm ready to take a shower or there's there's enough hot water. So now I have to tell Joy and we're probably not gonna have any hot water till tomorrow at some point because 
I don't know if I'm gonna go get some more wire tonight. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie this back together and see if it works. Um, and just cut out that little bit of wire that's uh, exposed and we'll go from there. So I actually did trip the breaker. I only looked at the sub panel. Some pedal was fine and uh, it actually tripped the breaker on the main panel. So I'll uh, turn that off and get back to work cutting out that small section of wire, wiring it back up. All right, so we're about an hour and a half later from where we started the whole video. I got the box in, got it wired up. So I lost a little bit of length on my cable because of that. So now it's, it's a little tight. Well, I mean, it's not tight. It's got plenty of movement, but it just really uh, was a mistake that could have been really bad. Um, I turned the water heater back on, flipped the breakers. I mean, she's, she's working and the water's still warm. The pipes are still warm. So I really just halfway know what I'm doing. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we're learning together. I might call it quits tonight. Hopefully the water heater works when I need to go take a shower in a little bit because I've been sweating out here and it's almost 7.45. It's still raining. So not very much progress today, but I learned a lot. Cool. I went last night, got some uh, some tools to fix that. I ended up getting the Multimax uh, MM50 from Dremel uh, so that I can really trim up those uh, boards up there to uh, get everything fit. I got the right gauge wire. I realized I had the wrong one when I got home. The six by three was also the same color as this and I just wasn't paying close enough attention when I got it. I seen the eight three and I, I grabbed the one right beside the 8.3. They were the same color and didn't think to look. And I got home and realized I had the six by three. So I also got some, uh, some extra 10.2 uh, um, because I'm a little short up there with having to do that splice. So I got some extra 10.2 uh, to run over to the outlet. I, got, uh, I realized that it's probably gonna be a similar situation on the other side, so I got a an outlet box uh, with the the flaps on it to, whoops to hold it behind the uh, the plywood panel up there and I just got uh, a normal one that you nail into the stud when you're initially installing it but there was no way I could secure this to the stud uh, with a piece of mine that I liked so um, I got this little box for a two gang receptacle but I can trim this out with my multi-tool and fit that in there and screw that to the stud so that I have more of a peace of mind. I got a, a cover for the top of that and that can be done and never have to go in that again and um, I don't have to worry about it. So um, what I think I'm gonna do is take my multi-tool and just cut out a strip down through here and figure out what's over here um, whether that's these water pipes here or just some insulation and find a spot where I can put that other outlet and then I'll cut the half inch plywood panel to fill this gap and make sure I'll, I'll make sure this one's covered. I might put like a little label there showing that that's behind there. All right, so I'm going to give you guys an update here. Um, I got the, the boards trimmed. Um, what I didn't tell you guys at first was... Um, this cutout that I made here, I actually cut it out with a jigsaw uh, because I didn't have the Dremel yet. I did that the other day, but the multi-tool or multi-max um, made that so much easier. So what I did was I just cut out this groove all the way through here. This is where my outlet box is gonna go. I made enough room for uh, the flaps here to have plenty of room in there so that they can latch up against the face plate. Um, so I'm about to cut that, uh, the face panel now. Um, all this will be hidden. I'm gonna wait until I get the face plate cut and I'm gonna put some paint on it and let that start drying. And while that's drying, I'm gonna go back, rewire all this, um, put that new box in there. I might have to put uh, two or three coats on the, the panel, but while all that's drying, I'm gonna clean all this up, get it ready to uh, put the faceplate on so that I can uh, have this done up here. And then once I'm, I'm done up here, I'll uh, 
I'll kind of probably drill some mountain holes in the panel so that I can put the water heater up, get it mounted, and have all this up here done and then start on the plumbing. I don't know if Joey's gonna need the hot water or anything, so I'm leaving that for last. All right, so another update for you guys. Um, I got the uh, electric um, wired up for the outlet. I got it finished. I'm ready to put this little plastic cover on. Got everything in there, and uh, I'm about to close this up and go put another uh, coat of paint on. So I'll be back. All right, guys, we're back for another update. I've got a second coat of paint drying. I think that's all I'm gonna put on it. I put both coats on pretty heavy. Um, I'm gonna have to trim the face plate just a little bit, um, like less than an eighth of an inch. I've got the water heater draining right now. I've got everything turned off inside. I've got the water shut off cold side and going into the hot water heater so I've got that draining I'm, I'm just waiting on the paint to dry but I don't really want to waste any time so I'm gonna go ahead get started on taking this thing apart um, and getting the water heater out of there all right so I've got the water heater unhooked now I've got it drained just unhooked uh, the hose at the bottom hot water exit and cold water intake unhooked this is the vent. Let's get this thing out of the way. It's for sale. All right, so I've got the water heater out of the way, the uh, opening ready to go. Um, the wire is just gonna sit in that little groove. Um, I got the face plate finished, and I also marked out on here where the electrical's running through here. Here's the, the outlet hole. Here's the two mountain holes for the tankless water heater, and I'm actually gonna use those as the mountain holes for this face plate which will drill right through uh, that plywood. Yeah, so I'm gonna stick this up there and then this is gonna be ready to uh, go and then I'm gonna start working on the plumbing and yeah, one more step. All right guys, so I got this hung. Got everything ran over here. Got the water heater hung, nice and level. Now it's time to work on the plumbing. What's up guys, we made a lot of progress. I just got back from Home Depot. I uh, Bought the wrong breakers and I ran out of PEX connections um, when I was doing the plumbing. So my latest update is we got water again. I haven't ran the electrical for the tankless water heater yet, but I got all the plumbing done, turned the water on. It's uh, purging out all the air bubbles right now. So I got all the hot water faucets running. Yeah, we don't have any leaks. That's really my first time doing plumbing too. So um, I know I told you guys that we're learning together. So here's what it looks like. I have everything hooked up. This was the way I, I ran the lines. Hot water's here. I just changed the angle of all these PEX pipes coming off there. And the cold water is right here, running straight up there. I'm gonna put a, a 90 in this vent, vent hose and run it parallel, or I guess parallel with both edges there so it'll be tucked in the corner. And I just gotta put the outlet in up there, but I'm not really worried about that right now. I'm just trying to get us some hot water. All right guys, so I just got off the phone with my electrician. Um, he's kind of walking me through this process a little bit. So I kind of made a mistake. I got uh, 8.3 Romex, and um, I'm supposed to have the regular flexible uh, wire. The problem kind of started when I found out that I couldn't fit all three wires through the wire holder on the water heater. And so I, I, I gave him a call and he helped me out. And so I, I have the wrong wire, dang it. But I'm gonna just finish putting this together so that we have hot water and then I'm gonna come back later on uh, when I have time and put the right wire in here so that it's up to code. So gotta make it work for now. Oh well. All right, that was hard. Well, it wasn't hard, it was just giving me a hard time because I have the wrong wire size. So, makes a lot of sense now. I understand why 
that wire doesn't work. Yeah, so I'll give you a quick shot of how I wired it up and how it's gonna have to work for now because I gotta give Joy some hot water. I'm okay without it, but Joy needs it, so um, check it out. So yeah, it doesn't, uh, doesn't look all that hot, but I've got uh, some really heavy wire that's not very flexible. Ran every which way, and here I just cut off the whites. So that's one less wire to deal with. So um, let me work on the box and getting the breakers wired up. So I've already got the power off. Yeah, I'll uh, show you guys what I end up with. Well, I'm finally done with that. Picking the wrong wire just really made everything difficult because I don't have a lot of room to work with. The wire is not very flexible. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys what I did. Got all the power turned off. Ran these big old Romex wires. Ran the grounds over here to the ground bar. And just ran my reds and my blacks and cut off the, the whites and put some electrical tape over them so that they're not showing. But I'm gonna put this cover back on and start flipping switches. One, two, three. We're on. Let's adjust it. Let's uh, let's just set it at a hundred right now. Oh yeah, we're we're warm now. I just have to give it time to get warmed up. All right. Well, we haven't tripped any breakers yet. The water's warming up. Once I, I come back and rerun, rerun all the wires when I get time and finish all this stuff up, I will walk you guys through that too, um, replacing the wire, how it looks when it's finished. I uh, just got back from Home Depot a little bit ago. I've got all the uh, right wire now. I had to rig it up as you've seen before with uh, the wrong wire and had to make it work so we can have some hot water. So I've left kind of everything open uh the last couple days while well, i could get the rest of the parts and find some time to do this so um it's time to get started all right got everything uh undone i cut a new conduit pipe to fit right there um just to kind of close up that gap and hide the wires a little more they don't have to be hidden all the way but i just wanted it to to look neat and hide most of the wires um got everything undone Got the power off, we're ready to go. All right, so I got the water heater side all wired up. Looks pretty neat. Now for the main panel. Um, that took me a little over 30 minutes maybe. So I've got everything done. Everything here is color coded as well um, to match the, the top ones up there. And we're ready to uh, install the covers on these sub panels, turn the power back on, and make sure the hot water's working and we're done. All right, so we are done. Got everything nice and tidied up. I gotta get one more 90 degree PEX connector for right there that I forgot at Home Depot. Got this one, this, this little breaker here is for the old water heater line, which is now this uh, outlet right there, which down the road is gonna house my sound system up here and also my air compressor here in the corner and my main panel is pretty much full now except for this one little one down here which i don't really have a use for that at this point but yeah that's all thanks for watching also guys i uh should probably put this in here by no means am i electrician never done any of this before first time really doing plumbing uh, electrical work and all this so like I've said a, in a, a few times in the video we're learning together and I uh, was really nervous to do all this I saw wise counsel on this stuff was in touch with my electrician a lot um, he was kind of walking me through it yeah I was I was watching YouTube I was uh, reaching out and yeah just trying to follow directions so I just I needed to put that in there uh, remember don't forget to turn your your main uh, breaker off if you're gonna be doing electrical make sure all the power's off make sure your water's off if you're gonna do some plumbing and uh, yeah I'm just gonna clean up my mess here and uh, that's it for uh, my weekend off thanks for watching